Welcome to the F5 VNF Manager tutorial for installing Blueprints. In this video, we will show you how to set up your VNF Manager and install a GI LAN Blueprint. VNF Manager supports two virtualized infrastructure managers, Red Hat OpenStack Newton version 10 and VMware vSphere ESXi 6.5. Here you can see the required networks and images that you must configure prior to launching a VNF Manager. To open the VNF Manager, find the IP address you assign to your management network and then using HTTPS, access that IP address in a browser. Next, open the Secret Store. In the left menu, click System Resources. Scroll down to the Secret Store Management pane and click Edit in each row to define the secrets required for your system automation. To see existing secret values, click the eyeball icon. Next, you will use an input file to configure the blueprint you want to deploy. Point your browser to the F5's public GitHub repo, navigate to the supported inputs version Vim folder, and open an inputs YAML file. Copy and paste the text into another file, add your system definitions, and then save the file locally for upload into your VNF manager. You will notice that there are two file types. Use YAML for uploading into VNF user interface, or the JSON file when using the Rust API. Turn to your VNF Manager. In the left menu, click Local Blueprints, select an option from the list, GI LAN, Firewall, or Base, and then click Deploy. For this tutorial, we will use GI LAN. At the pop-up menu, enter the name for your deployment, and then click the folder icon and browse to the inputs file you saved locally. Once you upload the inputs file, the form is completed automatically. Scroll to the bottom and click Deploy. On the left menu, click Deployments. In the Blueprint Deployment row, click the More icon, and then from the list of workflows, select Install. VNFM will install approximately 12 to 13 deployments depending upon the blueprint you selected. You will see these appear on the Deployments blade. The install will take several minutes to complete. If you go to your Vim tool, you can see that the deployments created by VNFM will also appear here in OpenStack, for example, on the Compute Instances tab. Upon a successful install, you will see a list of auto-created deployments. These deployments are comprised of NFVVE service layers that contain a master VE, two slave VEs, and their supporting deployments like groups and NSDs. The VNF layer possesses the processing power to protect, analyze, optimize, and manipulate your network traffic efficiently, therefore auto-scaling on-demand meeting your throughput needs. The DAG group consists of big IP VEs configured to calculate your system resource requirements at any given time and to adjust those VNF layer processing resources accordingly. Click more to view a list of workflows specific to the deployment. The list of workflows change depending upon the deployment type you selected. Click a deployment row to view the list of nodes, inputs, outputs, executions, and event logs associated with that deployment. Here you will find the information required for troubleshooting your deployments. You can use a single VNF manager to launch multiple blueprints. Here you can see I've launched a Big IQ blueprint for auto configuring my Big IQ license manager as well as a GI LAN blueprint for orchestrating my application resources in the cloud. You can also use one VNFM to create multiple deployments of the same type, but deployed to different VIMs that reside in different data centers. To uninstall a blueprint deployment on the deployment blade in the main solution blueprint row, click more and then select uninstall from the workflow list. Your resources will begin to uninstall and will take several minutes to complete. Once the uninstall has completed successfully, in the main solution blueprint row, click more and then select delete from the workflow list. Your blueprint and all resources are now removed from your VNF manager and your VIM. This concludes deploying your VNFM blueprint. Thank you for watching.